I want to try and get the purple to really come up to the surface on this uh, purple heart. So you can see it's it's got purple. It is purple, of course, but uh, if you heat it up, you'll get even more purple out of it. So I've just got just a torch here that I'm going to just very lightly come in. Let's zoom out a little bit here. I'm going to come in and just kind of caress the surface with the flame as I've got it spinning and just try and heat that up a little bit and try to get that purple to come forward. Well, there's definitely a very fine line between getting it to go purple and charring. It's an art form. <laughs> what can I say? So, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and sand that back a little bit, see if I can't get some of the black out, and uh, go from there. I've got a nice even charring over the entire thing and now I'm going to go back and hit it with my sandpaper and remove that and that'll expose the purple underneath. So we all hope. Turning purple. Well, that is not working out, so I think we're gonna have to do a blank reset. Damn. I was so hopeful. Looks very uneven not work out at all. Alright, that's how you do a blank reset. So here, the toaster oven is your friend. 
this toaster oven I have designated just for doing wood and resin and different things. And what I have here is I have a rack that I've set up to hold the pen blanks upright. And in doing so, it'll allow the heat to travel up and through and get around and completely turn the wood dark purple. So it's going to go from that brown color to this nice deep purple color. Take a look at that one. So this is the exact same piece of wood that these were cut off from. And you can see how deep purple that is right there. And so what I did with that is I just took my oven and I turned it on to 300 and this oven it has a cool feature because it has a fan mode. So you can turn on the oven fan and the fan will circulate the air around through and keep it nice and even heat throughout the entire thing because if it just rises straight up through the blanks then you might get an uneven color but if you have it even circulating all the way around it you'll get a nice even color. 300 degrees and just do it for 30 minutes. We'll check back in 30 minutes and see how it's doing. Alright, so let's see what we got. Now of course they are going to be warm, so I've got another little rack here that's already cool, that I don't have that's hot, that I'm going to put them on. There we go. You can see that those are much, much darker now. So now I'm going to take these outside and I will get these polished up and get a finish put on those. That works rather nicely. And the nice thing about using CA is CA has a melting temperature that's upward in like 386 degrees. And so having it at 300, the CA in your blank doesn't melt either. So it works really, really well doing it this way. All right, so third time's a charm with this piece of purple heart. Now this one, I have finally found a method that should work in order to get the purple out of the wood and evenly distribute it throughout the entire piece. The last one, there was a crack that went through the cap blank and it went all the way down one side and stopped about here and then it had one right next to it that went a quarter of the way up. So it was a crack along the same grain line almost. Um, and you could see all the way through down to the brass and it separated. So the brass tube expanded more than the wood did and it caused the crack. So while baking it in the oven did deepen the purple, it did not work baking it with the purple on the tubes. Now when I did my testing to see if baking it in the oven would work, I did it on this piece of cutoff from that exact same wood that was on these tubes and I baked this in the oven on 300 degrees for 90 minutes and it deepened the outside of the, of the blank. Well I wanted to know whether or not it deepened the inside of the blank as well since these ones just failed and I turned off the wood on them and got my brass tubes back. So what I did was I drilled a hole through this blank to see what the interior of the wood looked like. And the results are the interior are just as purple. Let me get a flashlight over here. Interior is just as purple as the exterior. You see that there? Let me get it. So the, it deep purple the entire blank all the way through, all the way down to the wood. And as I was drilling it, the wood that was coming out of it was just as purple as well. So it darkens the wood all the way through. So putting the entire blank, and that's what I've done with this one, I put the entire blank into the oven, 300 degrees, 90 minutes, and it deep purpled this blank as well. Here I'll show you a contrast. So here's the exact same wood, and when I drilled into the, these ones, they came out brown. And you can see the difference between the two Here's my deep purple, purple heart, and here's the regular purple heart, just gone under standard oxidization in the air and under light. 
and then here's one that I baked on 300 degrees for 90 minutes. You can see the difference in the color. So just as a comparison, here's some of the shavings from the last blank that I did, and here's the stuff coming out of this one. Do you see the difference in color there? I'm thinking this is going to work out pretty well. Yeah, it's going to work out pretty good.